Howdy folks, welcome back to the Alex Parker Road to the Show Series, and it'll be 22 PS5, episode 236. We've got seven games left in the regular season after we just got destroyed and we blew a 6-0 lead in the ninth. Let's not get swept by the Twins. There are some interesting storylines happening right now. Of course, we've uh, secured the best record in the AL, and of course the AL West by that token. Um, but goodness gracious, the wild card race is really picking up. The Twins are not in it. But the importance of this episode is actually kind of high. We have a three-game series against the Oakland A's, who are leading the wild card by only like a game or something. I don't want to play the A's. I think I think the A's are a pretty big threat. That's a it's nice. Okay, a little automatic ground rule double for Alex, and he will start off the episode well. Anyways, I don't want to play the A's. No, that's two outs, my bad. So if we can go out and get two of three against them or a sweep, that would be awesome and knock them out of the wild card contention. That should be the goal. These games don't necessarily matter as much. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want Other to than for bragging rights of being a 100 win team, but we're already down 2 0. And pick up a run. Fought off foul. Alrighty. Here's a 1 1. Ball oh, 2. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. 2-1 pitches in there, and the count is even. Got a 2-2 two -two here. Ground ball, left Hole. side. Three. All right, nice. Good pitch. Better hit. We'll lead off the fourth here with a knock. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes it's not the time to go cold as a team. Put the ball in play and just hope it finds a hole. Ball forward to Meadows. First, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. There we go. Bringing up Freddie Freeman, who is eight RBIs away from his 100 RBI goal. Trout is closing in as well, but Freeman's running out of time, and that's not going to help. Trout's not playing today. It'll be Ryan O'Hearn, who's been almost an everyday guy. Uh, he's pretty everyday. With only seven games left, how many... Well, Hearns played 121 games comparatively to Meadows, who I would say is an everyday guy. He's played 135. Alex has played 155. Freeman's played 155 as well. Having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs, they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate. So very All right, difficult two -two. to get the barrel on. Kicks and fires. Ball Meadows, right little chop. Goes to second. He went to second in a bold move. It's going to count as an infield single. And we bring up the power hitting catcher, Jorge Alfaro, who has exceeded all expectations this year and has really became one of the best catchers in baseball. We already know his glove and arm are super strong. But his bat, he's 27 homers this year, 80 RBIs. He's been really solid. And a foul ball, he stays Let's see what he can do here. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. And now the count is even. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield. All right, 2-2. Two, two. runner at second has a very good read and can it's determine three, two. whether or not he can score on that base hit. 3-2 He walked a run in. Alex will come in. Angels tack on one. They tack on one more. We are tied at two here. This is episode four of my eight game or eight episode marathon. Which is basically just playing through the month of September. And then some. We're two for two here today and we finally got some people on base. Probably won't do anything with that. I kid, I kid. We 
Rope a ball into the gap. Yes, sir. He put it right down the middle. Alex made him pay. It's going to be an Angels lead here. And another one's going to try to score. He's in there. Look at Lucius Fox flying around the base paths. Alex has his 54th double of the year, his second of the game. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. The next pitch misses. Now two Alex two. is feeling good here today. We got to perform in the playoffs, though. We we played well last year. We actually played really well in the playoffs last year. I will not lie. Never seems to help. Never help me. Minnesota's bullpen with some action. Eli Morgan appears to be getting loose. Hey, Tatum. Getting cranked up as well. This guy will throw any pitch in any count. 3-2. He goes off speed. Gets the out. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. It'll be Freddie Freeman. Righty delivers. Who's 0 for 1 here today? 0 for 2, sorry. I was about to say, I have to be wrong about that. Fumes a little bit. Mechanics can drop off. And we know they need him to be fresh. Freddy got a good hold of one. Deep right. Hey, it's off the wall. Alex held up for a while here. He's going to try for the plate. It's going to be a play at the plate. Alex is in there. It's an RBI double for Freddie Freeman. His 34th double of the season. And the Angels hop back out in front here. This guy has turned into a beast. It is a three for three game for Alex. Feeling good. Over 50 home runs again for two straight seasons. His third in his career. And that one fouled off. And he's looking for 140 plus RBIs for the second time in his career, I believe. I believe he was 144 last year. Yeah, this would be a career. Well, it'll be close to see if we can make that career high. And here it comes. That's another one, though. A four for four day. Ah, shoot. Well, I thought he was going to come up firing home, but we will get the run in. Six to two is the score. Gio gave up two in, like, the first inning, and since then he has settled in, as he always seems to do. And we're going we're gonna to get him through the seventh here. Beautiful. Good job, Alex Gio. Parker, the next to hit for the Angels. A four for four day for the Angels shortstop. In there and it's That's a tough call. Some guys are just more confident. They can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. Next offering is down low. And we are going to lose our perfect day. On that pitch right there, we pop it out to left center. It's caught. All right. Seven to school. Seven to school. Seven to two is your score. Victor Victor Mesa looking to be the last out of this game. Up the middle. And we're going to help out Amir Garrett. He throws a good night. And Lucas Giolito will get his second to last game out of the way with a good eight inning two earned run performance he is getting ready for the playoffs and we're gonna need him big time we gotta win that ace game we've got to win the ace game um especially you know if we are going to be the one seed we're not gonna have to face chance that first game um that's if we even face chance let's talk about that a little bit we've got uh the division in the bag of course and the a's all right uh Okay, the A's are one game in front of the White Sox and the Mariners who are tied for that second spot. White Sox are trying to give it up to the Mariners right now, it looks like. Um, the Strohs are three and a half back. They're probably close to out of it here. It's going to come down to these three teams. And my goal right here is to crush the A's to knock them out. The A's lost again, I think. Goodness gracious, man. All right, so we'll face Luis Patino, and we have Patrick Sandoval in some must-win games for them. All righty. Absolutely smoked it. We are off to a good start here today. Alex is going to try for two. He's got a stand-up double while he's going to slide for fun. A double machine right now. 55 on the season. 
They've kind of come to their senses, I guess, and finally started playing Poisson as their starting shorts. He's played a lot this year, actually. He is a great fielder. He has a 2.3 war. I don't know. They need to play the dude. Or trade him. Like, he is really talented. Another throw to second. And he's back I again. I believe Davidson on first. Muncie's playing second. All right, Fred. We need you here. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. Next two two. In the dirt, and it's two and two. I don't think Freddie will find a home and next year, sadly. That one ran inside, almost got him. Just one of those things where I just don't think that's how it's going to happen. This is an important series for us, though. That is crushed. He's not catching that. Alex, get out of here. That's gone, man. Two nothing. Freddie Freeman goes deep. That's what I'm talking about. That beautiful inside out swing he's got. He just crushes the ball. And with Sandoval on the mound, on the mound, I do have a good bit of confidence in this team. For at least the first five, six innings. Like the play, Alex. Nice. End of the second. Looking good. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the inning. Now it's the Angels' leadoff man, Alex Parker. Not shortstop. Full one. Pitch and he just misses. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to has had a really good year. Stolen base, maybe get around the bases. He hasn't pitched that much though. Next offering. You know, like I'm pretty sure he's lower on the innings than most of them. No, he's not. He's at 147. Hmm. He's had a good year though. Down in the dirt. We could probably expect to see him in the playoffs some. And a swing to miss. If we play them. Well, he looks fresh out there. Just swung through that one. Get a little more confidence and remember how good he's been in the past. Next pitch is outside. 3 1. And the righty deals. Deep center. center field. It's going to be trackable and playable. One down. Makes the catch, and there's one down. Sends L right on it. One down. Back here at Angel Stadium. New inning getting started. Here's the left fielder, Harold Ramirez. All right, Harold played with us a little bit. Bounced out to short. Just the one season, and it was last season, I believe. He's been better with the uh, Oakland A's, but not that much. Alex Parker. This guy one of the best contact men in the sport as well. Outstanding on the defensive end. And the 1-0. That was ours, but 97 got us behind it, and we're just going to pop it out. It's 2-1, to one, end of the fifth. We are over halfway through the game. It's time. Who gave it up? Thank on that, man. I hate Corey Knebel. With a passion, I hate Corey Knebel. He is awful. I was expecting fastball. Or one for three with the leadoff double. And a pitch. And takes low for ball one. All right, one one. Big swing and a miss. One, two. Come on now. Next offering is down low. I'm a swing and a strike other than one. Well, I guess I only chased one. This is the closest out of the ball, so. It was a change yet. He missed it again. 3-2. You cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Up the middle. We went down and got it. So the go-ahead run is on base with a knock. Good piece of hitting by Alex. Had the walk. But hey, why not a hit? And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. 
Alex takes off. Freddy on the ground. Foul. One away. Tie game. Go ahead, run stands at first. Should I go? Nah. Ground ball to the right side. Is that considered a fair ball? Alex is caught. He's out at first second. I thought we might have deeped him. We're all tied at two. Down the third baseman, Matt Chapman. Kicks and deals. Out to short. On the ground, Alex plays it on a backhand. Chapman sneaky fast, one down. And they get the leadoff man in the ninth. We are in the tenth year, and it's Tyler freaking Matzik. For his late inning heroics. He's not pitched that much this year. On the ground. Alex is on it. One hops and throws over to first. End of the tenth. And we will hit here, most likely. Yes, one on, nobody out. You'd likely see a bunt here from a lot of people, but with Alex at the plate, you're definitely telling him to swing. Alex puts it on the ground. It's going to be a double play ball, but he's easily going to beat it. It's a fielder's choice. So the good part about Alex is he can fly. We'll take a pitch and go. Now we're going. Take Freddy, take Freddy. Boom, baby. We've got our 88th bag of the season. 3-1 to Fred. A base hit wins. Strike two, good pitch. Left-hand hitter waits. Freddie, deep right, good by baseball ball game. Freddie Freeman's second homer of the day propels the Angels to a victory here in the opening game of the series. Number 29 for Freddie Freeman. He knew it coming off the bat as well. Freddie Freeman started the year hot. He is ending the year hot. He had all four RBIs today. Alex was two of the runs. And Matzik ends up getting the win here. All right. How about that? Freddie Freeman with a huge game. A four RBI game as well. He is making a run for the 100 home runs. Oh, I thought we were going deep, man. But we just pop it out. Poisson puts it away, one down. It's 2 nothing. A's quickly here. Alex Parker. First pitch, not close. Kopeka throw over. Paniagua. All right. Come on, Kopeka, give it to me. Give it to me. He gave it to me, but I missed it. Ah! Lip of the warning track will go down in a second as well. One out, base is empty. Barash has kind of, I don't know, he's had a pretty good year, I think. He's developed his career a very long way with uh, this Angels team. As he was a long relief type of guy. He had some struggles as a long relief for old guy for a while. Um... As you can see here, he started 20 last season, 481. Year before he was 422. They gave him the nod this year, and it hasn't disappointed. A 387 ERA, 133 whip, 2.3 war. He's been good. I mean, like, as a player, he's an 84 overall. Um, and I don't know. I like Matt Brash. Here's a speed threat, Robert Poisson. I don't love Matt Brash as the third starter in a playoff series. I think Matt. That one the other way. It's a little more suited to be the five. 
Max Muncy digs in now. I have yet to win a World Series, by the way. And this series, and Max's series, and Adam's series, and Cam's series. I have never won a World Series, man. And eroded the show. Is that not crazy? Stepping in, Alex Parker. Not your prototypical leadoff guy. Two on base, yes, but also some power. That's hit hard as well. Deep center, it's track. <laughs> That's just how it goes. We were like crushing the ball earlier. Can't do it right now. He's starting it, man. These two guys, a lot of respect. We're on a nine-game hit streak. That's in jeopardy. Behind on a good fastball to hit. Next one misses. Now one and two. That's a really good job of laying off the 0-2 high fastball. Is going to make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter, even though he's behind in the count. 2-2. Two, 2-2. Two. Two, two. Almost hit him. A base runner here would be big. That's what we're going to get a big loop and curveballs in the dirt. Freddie Freeman walks up to the plate. Crowd is on their feet. Freddie, deep right. That's bad. He did it again! Another two-run shot that scores Alex. It is a tie ball game. Freddie Freeman hits his 30th of the year. What in the world is happening? He got around on the fastball and made him pay. Just gets it over the wall. We still lost. My gosh, dude. Carvajal gave up a run, and Bednar got the save. Dang it, man. That would have been a great one to win. If we go, Let's try to win this one, though. And, like, bring this A's team to their knees so they don't make the playoffs. We can beat this A's team in the playoffs, though. They are good. Juan Soto, you know. You know how it is. But we can beat them. Wow, they're all tied at the top. A win would be huge. A win would be huge. I mean, they are not at the top anymore. If we can get this one. Four games left for the A's. Four games left for us as well. And it's fouled away. Uh, Brilliant's tough one to hit. Got to think to yourself, you want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, opposite field not. In Good pitch. Field, Can't do much with that. Drifts towards it, makes the catch, ah, one, one down. Gone. We're good. And next for the Angels, Alex Parker, leading the AL in one on, average. nobody out. First off, Try to get around on it a little too early. Looks like the weather could actually play a factor in this one. It's coming down pretty good. Yeah, it is, and it's not too bad yet. But the field's not going to be able to hold up if the rain gets any worse than this. So keep all righty. Pitchers mound as well, and the rest of the infield start to puddle up a little bit. Oh, and two oh, two. Waves good pitch, way. man. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. Up uh, the middle, Alex finally got to a big curveball. Shot it back up the middle. We've got two on, nobody out here. And the man of the hour, Freddie Freeman, who's an RBI away from 100. One, two. I, man, I love you, Freddie Freeman. Love him as brave. Love him in this series. He is. The pitch. Uh, he's the bee's knees. That's on the ground. <laughs> it's going to be two. What a double play from Max Muncy. 
So the batting order turns over. So in now for the Angels, Alex All right. Parker moved to first. The throw is wild and it gets away. That was odd. I guess it's because he's out of position. One down. And to right. Really hit it hard, and we've got a second hit. They get it in quickly. And similar to last time, but now with one out, and it'll be Freddie again. The next offering misses. Two and one. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. Two one to Fred. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish. Three one. Pitch. You leave something out over the plate. It's going to bring in some runs. Righty delivers. Fred hit it hard. It's in the gap. They cut it off, but it's going to score the first run. The throw into third is off target, and Freddie Freeman comes through again with an RBI single. There's RBI number 100 for him on the year. That's what I'm talking about. Meadows did, in fact, make it to 40 home runs. Deep. Right. Goodbye, baseball. It's 4 nothing, Angels. Meadows hits his 41st. That's what I'm talking about. We are looking good. Molly's in a relief role now. He's been awful this year. Looks like. We get down. Pitch has popped up. <laughs> and that's bad swing, end. really bad swing. All right, we're two for four. Three innings to hold this four-run lead. Anaheim, Three, one in. It's Corey Knable. We're gonna lose. Senzel. Senzel. A one if we actually gave this up, dude. On the ground to the left. Parker. Sounded like a perfect, up. perfect. Couldn't have been a perfect, perfect. He's he on. Oh my gosh. Shows off the wheels right there. We do win. Five nothing. All right. Canning throws a great six innings. Caprillion was thrown fine until Freddie came through, and then he made one simple mistake to Austin Meadows and absolutely destroyed him. Well, we will take that. Let me turn on some music really quick. I don't even know what to title this episode. Um, get the A's out or something. Let's check out the wild card standings. The A's are... Wow, they all lost? <laughs> kind of all lost. They are all at the same exact record. Who did the A's play in their last season? A series B, Houston. Seattle. All right, that's not bad. So Seattle's kind of fallen out of it. It's back to the White Sox, Athletics, and Guardians. Mariners, if they sweep, have a chance, but they've lost three in a row. Strohs aren't out of it, out of it. But they are for the most part. Man, oh man. Uh, we've got Texas. We are now 100 win team. Which is pretty cool. We're 159. Next best team is 89 and 70. Yeah, the Dodgers have us, but they've lost five in a row. Dang, they could have been even better. Cubs balling out this year. The Mets did clinch the division. Good for them. They actually won the NL East for once. And did the Braves sneak in here? It's either the Braves or the Marlins. I bet they play each other, too. We always play each other on the last series of the year. The Braves play the Mets, and the Marlins play the Brewers, so... Marlins definitely favored. All the Marlins have to do is win two of the three or the Braves, you know, to lose one. If you liked the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. That's it for me. That's Alex Parker, episode 236 in the book.